Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So as you can see, we are nearly level 100. I'm, uh, I'm pretty close in a sense, but yet so far away at the same time. I've got 143,000 Survivor XP that I'm going to use. Uh, it definitely won't take me to level 100, but uh, we're going to play a mission in a bit to try and get some more Survivor XP and see if that takes me to level 100. So who should I level up? I've got max uh, cards there. We've got some 30s here. Uh, I'm trying not to evolve. I'm just trying to upgrade any cards that are not already maxed because obviously upgrading uses resources like lightning in the bottle, eye of the storm, stuff like well, I actually have a bit more lightning in the bottle than I thought I had. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to evolve a couple of these guys. I'm just going to evolve two of them. Oh. How much is it per evolve? 16. Okay, maybe if I evolve this one too. And this one too. And this one too. Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have just reached level 100. I literally, I, I wasn't going to evolve anything, but um, that's what took us to the big 100. Wow. I've actually been trying to get to 100 for a long time. Uh, now we've all, now, now we finally hit it, which is awesome. How that looks so cool, man. Level 100 just sitting up there like that well what i planned to do was i was going to play a mission to get some survivor xp but uh what i might do now is instead play a repair the shelter to get some schematic xp which is what i think i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna run my uh ranger dead eye because that's what i've been enjoying recently so if we just grab that and then reclaimer uh, and then I'm going to search for this repair the shelter. We're going to get into that and get our hands on some schematic XP. So let's do this. I'll meet you in the game. All right. So we are now in with a lot of stuff on my screen. Please get off my screen. Um, shelter's over here. We are currently installing the module. So it looks like I joined a little bit late. But uh, let's go find these modules and then we can get back and build. So... Hmm, where do I sense a module to be? If uh, they're normally located <laughs> normally located quite close by. There we go. There's one. So there's probably going to be a bunch around this area. Or that's what I would imagine would happen. There we go. There's another one. That would be a third one for Aiden. Oh, and a fourth one for myself. And I thought well, it takes, up, takes us up to seven. So there's... There's one more, which uh, hopefully my team find within the next couple of seconds. Otherwise, it's down to me. All right, and it looks like I found the last module as well. So, uh, though I joined late, I did manage to make up for it by finding a bunch of the modules. And uh, now we collect this. We can head back to... Actually, I want to check this out. Wasn't the one I expected, but that'd do. 47 nabs. Uh, we can head back now to the shelter and we can build up a nice defense to defend from these wannabe husks. There's nothing wannabe about them. It's just that they're that weak. It's like, well, come on, man. Why aren't you all smashers? Let's be honest. I'm pretty sure them guys are defending the sea bot even though everything's been found. And the bots are nearly dead as well. Wow. Look at those shots. Are they serious right now? Let's get rid of that one. And that one. Oh, I'll take that. Right, now that we've actually got uh, the husks out of the way, we can build. Using metal, are you? Let's just check the modifiers. Yep, no corrosions. So, let's do this. Wait, what? Uh, what husks are this? I mean, I saw some nature husks earlier. That doesn't mean it's a nature storm. But, um... Hmm. Well, whatever. I guess if uh, if I want to be safe, I can just build this out of brick. Yeah, I don't know what nature it is. Wow, it's ba Bayo. Because I'm seeing nature husks right now. And um, that doesn't look good. Because nature husks do damage to metal, man. And that's our, our base. Ah, oh, come on. 
Oh, come on. There we go. You dying over here? It's alright, I got you, man. I got you. Okay, so the main base of the shelter, these bottom bits, has been made. Um, actually, this is a level 100, 100 mission boosted to 118. So, it probably is worth me actually putting down some traps. Um, that bit might give us a little bit of trouble, actually. This bit here, if the husks do actually attack. But what I'll try and do is push them away ah, either way they're gonna come to this one aren't they be on this well because of that what I can do is I'll put a gas trap here and maybe that would deal with them maybe I'm not 100% sure if that works but uh, maybe what they do is they ignore that and maybe they go up to this one which is good because I can actually put a launcher on this meaning that the husks will get flung away Oh, nice. They can get flung down here and have to repeat that whole process. That could be a a good pro. And I could also turn this into a trap room as well. So let's do that, shall we? There we go. Uh, we'll just throw that there. Nice. So if a husk happens to come up here and actually does go for the gas trap, he's going to have to deal with damage from that. If he ignores it and chooses to do what I want him to do, which is go to this one instead, he can get pushed back from this into this little uh, pen here, this timeout room, and take some damage from that. What I can also do is a ceiling full trap, a gas trap, and maybe even just for the road. We'll do that. We'll add these. We'll add these as well. And if only it worked as if... Um, they probably have no idea what's going on. Hey, what is this guy doing? What the hell is this building? Actually, this is quite smart, I think. You know? Uh, in before, nothing even attacks from this side. Or in before, they just destroy this and go to this one. I should probably add one here just in case. After I get rid of these husks, of course. There we go. We'll throw in a final... Oh, I'll we'll just use that one. I can be asked to use the rest of that. And then, uh, I don't think I have any health on any of these traps. Uh, so, I don't think you can even do that, can you? Like, uh, on some of the perks of the traps, uh, if I show you, it increases the building health. So, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe there could be some on some floor traps like that. And then what I could have done was just place it on top of this to give the metal piece itself some more health. But, uh, apparently, it's only to do with walls. So, hmm... <laughs> no way no way this person's gone and done like pretty much what I wanted to do but they've gone and done it with uh, shotguns that's pretty cool I respect that and let me um, though I don't have I'll tell you what take that There we go. And now there's also someone there with an assault rifle. <laughs> Look at this. This person's got three defenders at 130, all with long enforcers. And it's absolutely slaying. That's awesome. I uh, I think I mentioned this before, but I wanted to try it with three pistol defenders um, and founders revolts. Or four, technically, if I could actually find someone else who had one. Then we go into a four-player mission and all use... Like, if you could have four defenders and four players all using, like, um... Oh, it's all broken. But, like, all using Founder's Revolt, the bullet chain must be overpowered, right? I mean, these long... These are, they are, that's a long enforcer, right? Oh, that one isn't. What's that one? Is that the Vindatech one? And then... She changed it up. She's given them all new shotguns. Oh my goodness. And then we just got my one here running around with a blunderbuss. Oh, we're defending, are we? <laughs> I didn't even realise. I was just like, there are a few husks. Uh, not too many, though. So I just assumed it was like normal uh, husks. Is this just the first defence? Like, Oh no, that's a raid. So luckily we got uh, these ones. These uh, uh, flingers. So we don't actually take that much damage. 
Or we don't get that many husks spawn, is what I was meant to say. What? No! R.I.P. to the assault specialist defender that used to be. Her days are over. Because she's dead. That's right, she died. She got wrecked by uh, some kind of husky husk. Was that really the mission? <laughs> oh, look, would you look at that? I'm, I'm slowly doing um, my level 88 missions. Just because I spend my time doing 100 missions, uh, <laughs> it actually works for my quest missions. Wow, look at my damage. Did I... I, I could actually get reported for how little I'd done that game. I thought I'd done a lot. I built, right? Uh, try changing the voice settings. Oh, he's having problems with his voice chat. Well, thank you very much for that easy game, team. That's nice that I didn't have to sweat. Normally, I'm like overdoing it. I come out of a bad back. I don't really, but... Uh, <laughs> give these all a little thumbs up because you know what they do. We'll give you a chance at double loot and uh, one would be very pleased with double loot especially from a times four mission and what do we get it's only 70,000 only 70,000 are you serious are you serious man I want to get a hundred thousand dim mag Marie some hero XP some gold I do need gold and I do need either storm. Thank you very much. Because what comes to the storm soon? I mean, what comes to the store soon, people? I think that mythic ninja comes out, doesn't he? That inf You know the enforcer skin from Battle Royale? I believe he is a mythic ninja. And I believe he will be added to the store when it resets in 31 hours. So uh, I imagine as a mythic, he'll probably be 4,000, but because it's event time, I imagine he'll be on sale for 3,200. So uh, I will try and get some gold for that, but I can't promise anything because at the moment I'm very, very busy. I'm a busy bee, but uh, well, there we go, people. We've reached level 100 power level. Remember, that was the basis of this video, <laughs> but... Um, we also had a nice little mission that play there. And guys, I hope you enjoyed that Battle Royale video yesterday. A nice different taste of my content. I actually had a lot of fun editing that. Like, um, I'm watching it back. And, like, I don't normally have amazing Battle Royale games. But when I, I was having some a couple of good games that, that night or day... And, uh, yeah, I thought it was quite funny. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button if you want to stay notified with my daily videos. That's right, daily. And I will see you in the next one. Adios.